child is poor, that child is from a poor family, that child's father is poor, or that child's mother is poor. Let me tell you, a poor man's child, poor man picking, let me speak this in pidgin English. Poor man picking where they with you, no me say that picking no will go far. Hi. I'm still on this matter of children being sexually molested. Yeah, I'm still on it. Forgive me because I personally feel I haven't said enough yet. And this topic is a kind of topic that carries a lot of information for both children, parents, and even the people who are committing this crime, this molesting of children. So this is my way of fighting and supporting with my voice for every child and every person who is a victim. And for children also who are still facing molestation up to today. Yes, people. Molestation is still going on. Guidance and parents, please find out what is happening in your surrounding. Find out what is happening in the life of the child that is under your care. And as you're watching, please, I want you to know that this fight is for you and me. See, our life begins to end the day we become silent to things that really matter, more special issues like this. So please don't go away. Join me and let's save life by watching to the end of this video and sharing it. I also want to use the opportunity to, to thank all of you who have gone so far as sharing my videos. I thank you very much and God bless. By the way, welcome to Real Talk For Real. I hope you're doing well. My name is Chichi. I'm the owner of this page. If you're new and if you're not, I welcome you again. Here on Real Talk For Real, I post lifestyle content, talk about life. So feel free to share your opinion about any content on this page even topic that has not been talked about and let's interact we are here to learn and like the saying knowledge is power so please subscribe and click the notice bell so you can be alert when I upload a new video Sexual abuse is a topic I can go on and on talking about. In my previous video, I kept, I watched it and I kept saying, trust me, trust me. Yes, you have to trust me because I am a victim. I know what it feels like being a victim, the kind of trauma you go through. It's not an easy thing to come out of. It's like you're carrying a heavy luggage on your head, walking about and finding it difficult to offload it. Three out of 10 children have been molested by the day, more especially in this pandemic and in most places where there, are, there is lockdown and most parents have to work also and even for eight hours they are vulnerable they don't have any option but to leave their children with daycare or with a housemaid and all that you know sorry don't get me wrong i'm not saying everybody is a child molester what i'm saying is we live in a world we live in a crazy world where there are a lot of people with a gentle appearance but are sick in their head people are sick a lot of people are sick in the head they can do the unthinkable so you see it's not written on anybody's forehead you don't you can't tell who is capable or not but all you just have to do is to put on your gadget be alert for every child around you and be alert for your children and every child under your care and that is the purpose for this video child sexual abuse is like a doubt to so many people around the world more especially in nigeria where i come from yes in nigeria many parents instead of them taking a proper action instead they will blame that child beat the child on it punish that child mercilessly and go as far as putting pepper in the private part of that child or their eyes yes many of you you know what I'm talking about if you're from Nigeria in my childhood this was a common kind of punishment in Nigeria many children today in Nigeria are voiceless because the society have made them grow this kind of fear in them and fearful many people feel a child is wayward when he or she tries to complain instead of giving the child care making the child understand that it is not their fault that this thing happened imagine a child whose parents notice that her footstep, how the way she walks has changed. She's walking really funny, maybe walking and opening her legs and all that. Our walking funny. Hmm. That child's own is finished because the parents will teach her mabo. They will beat the living daylight out of her. They will start by, bad child, come here. Where did you go to? What happened? What did you do there? Who asked you to go there? What were you looking for? What did you define? Go there. She be, oh, I don't see what you define. Come here, bad picking, or banje picking. You know, they bring a lot of courses on that child. This is not fair. People all over the world need to have a clear view to understand that such things happen and the damage and effects that it comes with, how to handle it, how to go about it without hitting anyone, more especially our Nigerian parents, these things happen. It's just like the way people are aware about this COVID-19, how the government keep warning people. That is the way such issues are supposed to be announced, television, radio, magazines, everywhere, for people to stop child molestation and parents should be aware. Take care of your children. 
Take care of your children because they are our leaders. They are the leaders of tomorrow. Yeah, leaders of tomorrow because you know what? They are going to occupy some offices tomorrow. They are going to be bankers. They are going to be teachers. They are going to be one thing or the other. They are the leaders of tomorrow. It's not when the person becomes a president or the person is a leader. In your own organization, in your own little place where you are, you are a leader. And it is easier to bring up strong children than to repair broken men. What kind of people do you want to have on the street there? So you have to build children because it's better now, right now to start building them people with with dignity than to repair broken men because when these people are broken they are shattered everywhere they are shattered in their mind and you don't know what it become tomorrow trust me negative positive expected the first time i was molested i was six years old yeah most people say, well, how come how do you remember what happened to you when you were at the age of six Yes, let me tell you, go and find out. You know that there are people who remember what happened to them at the age of four, where it happened, what color, what color of the what color of the bed or what color of the gift that we they were enticed with, or the, the thing the exact that we mention exactly what they were being enticed with, or whichever way or where it happened, the face of that person, the picture, the picture never goes away, and then at the age of eight, I was molested again. She was two years older than me. My, our pair group, a pair group, but she was two years older than me. And then at the age of 13, by different people in one family. And then I had to run away. I have to go. I have to take my freedom. I have to, I, I, I started asking myself, what are my parents giving me, by the way? What are they, what are they providing for me? And then I had to run away. That's the reason why I left Nigeria. Child sexual molestation can most likely damage a child or an adult. It takes only the grace of God for a victim to be in the right frame of mind. Most times you see the child becomes stubborn or want to attempt suicide, attempt running away from home, become depressed, have fear, grow this kind of anger, hatred for another, or feel sometimes, sometimes rejected, or sometimes get really, really wayward you know and so on you can name it they can become anything so it takes only the grace of god for a victim to be in the right frame of mind there are ways people molest children sometimes it's direct and sometimes it's indirect like for example showing a child nakedness or showing a child a porno you keep your child with somebody and you go out like okay you think your child is with under somebody's care and meanwhile the person is just put on a, a porno watching with your child and sitting even close to your child and holding the child on the shoulder or, or showing a child or, or having sex in front of a child or brainwashing for example or manipulating a child to do something and so many children also you see molesting other children are uh, children that are fixed also molestation and they they now start to have interest in it by being manipulated or being brainwashed about it and they see nothing wrong about it so they would like to try it and they, and they want to try it with some other children and the only way they can try it is is with children that are with children that they are older than but when they are in a group of people or group of person molesting one child or molesting a group of children that means that is a bully take time to find out what is going on in the life of your child you are busy pursuing career pursuing all the riches and meanwhile your child is with someone else someone is molding your child into only god knows what your child is somewhere having sleepless nights, facing a lot of challenges, being afraid when it's dark. Please come on, take a pause and find out what is happening in the life of that child. That child has something to tell you. Your child is living with a foster parent. Pay that child visit on a regular basis. I don't understand what kind of problem you have, what kind of poverty it is that cannot make you carry your load. Let me tell you, even if you can afford one square meal, let your child be with you. If, you or your, if your child is living with a foster parent, Pay that child a visit. Don't be intimidated for crying out loud. Don't be afraid. Don't be intimidated by anybody's riches. As long as your child lives with that person, you have the right to visit that person. And besides, if a person will take care, good care of your child, that person will tell you, first of all, you are free, ah, madam or auntie or whosoever or idiot or poor woman, you are free to visit your child at any time. That's the first thing that person will tell you. And when even when you visit, the person will make you even feel free for your visit. So, Pay your child a visit. Don't throw your child to any kind of person. If you have to go, if you if, if you know you're not okay with the person your child is living with, keep walking around. Definitely you will find somebody you will find somebody who can take care of your child if your hand is broken. That seems you cannot take care of your child because you're poor. I don't know. Even if you're poor, that poverty has not affected your ability of thinking. 
A foster child lives with you, and most times you starve the child of food, you prevent the child from going to school, the child does all the home, all the housework, all the errand in the house, and most times your, your children attend private school and that child attends a very bad, 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 bad shape. I don't know how to put it. A school without a good standard, a public school, and you're happy with it. I'm, I know why I'm saying this in people from Nigeria. People, many people are wicked in Nigeria. You know, your that child is going to a public school, a child, a school without a good standard. You're a wicked person. Nigeria, many people are really so bad that are so bad. And that's why today Nigerian is difficult for Nigerian to be to be better. Because there are people who like to see bad things, make it look good, and they feel so comfortable about it. If you don't change your ways, the kind of punishment that is coming for you or your maid, your sons are sleeping with your, your sons are sleeping with your maid and you gallivant the whole of your apartment, gallivant the whole of your house like a chief madam, you act like you don't even see what your children are doing to a, another person's child. And when the girl tries to complain, you will serve her dirty slaps. See, the kind of calamity, the kind of nemesis that is coming to befall you eh, is doing military training in Afghanistan. Hear me and hear me well. If you don't change your way, if you don't become a good mother or a good father to that child, Trust me, the nemesis that will be for you. Oh my God, that child is poor. That child is from a poor family. That child's father is poor. That child's mother is poor. Let me tell you, a poor man's child, poor man picking, let me speak this in pidgin English. Poor man picking where they with you, no me say, that picking no go go far. That picking, that picking still get, that poor man picking still get a big ability to become somebody, to be in, in a better places tomorrow. So treat somebody else's child good because you don't know tomorrow. You don't know where that child will go tomorrow. You don't know where that child will step up his or her feet tomorrow. You don't know which office that child will be working. You don't know which, which office, your, those your children that went to private school that you carried in private jets and all that. You don't know which office they will go tomorrow to seek employment. Hello? You don't know. You don't know who's, who is sitting on that table. You don't know. You know nothing. So change your way. The way Nigerian people in Nigeria are acting, many people are wicked. See, I tell you, eh, as our people, evil people say, mm, you didn't job. if you're poor, ah, Omo, if you're poor, people will show you pepe. People will show you pepe. So if you're poor, don't feel intimidated by anybody's riches. Anybody will reach, reach for in pocket. If your child, they don't allow you to come see your child, they don't allow you they don't allow you to see your child. Go and take your child because now you go suffer and later. You will be part of the people who will take the punishment. You will cry your, the living day like when that child becomes somebody. So it is better for you right now to hear my voice. There is a proverb a friend of mine used to give. He'll say, the person in the advice, person where get my mom, pick, the person in the advice, the person in the advice, Picking where get mama and papa. Now, now from the picking when they get mama and papa, they use the gear advice. So if you're listening to my voice right now, change your ways. If you know you're wicked to anybody, if you know you're wicked to any child, start to treat that child good. Start to treat that child like your own child because you don't know where your blessing will come from. All those your children carrying in private jet and all that, you don't know if they will become what they will become tomorrow. And it is that child that your sons have been sleeping with that will come for your rescue. So treat another person's child like your own child. You're married or single and you don't have a child of your own and you take every opportunity you have to molest any child that comes around you. You feel you're enjoying it or you feel sometimes it's a kind of being powerful. You're kind of, you're having a power to subdue the other person and you feel it's okay in your head. Mr. Man, Madam, it's only in your head. Change right now because there are nemesis, there are things that will befall you tomorrow and that time you you will feel like you should turn back the hands of time. Many of our Nigerians will say, hey, now nah, devil, oh, I don't know what have happened to me. Oh. I don't know what came about me, what came over me. Oh. It is the work of the devil. That time they start to the call devil, they give credit, devil credit. Now you're listening to my voice. Change your way because tomorrow is pregnant. So change your ways. Important things every child must know. First of all, my body is my body. Nobody should tell you to look at their private part and nobody should look at your own private part. Nobody should tell you to touch their own private part and nobody should touch your own private part. Nobody should show you private part on magazines, on on TV, on or call you on telephone and start to tell you about private part. Your body is your body. And another thing, parents, know as much as every teenager and adult in the life of your child, both teachers, both youth coach, friends, interview potential babysitters, know everybody that comes in the life of your child. Any adult that shows more interest in the life of your child than you should place a cautionary flag in your mind. Don't allow anybody to use comments like, eh, like in Nigeria. For example, a little child, another to be calling a little child, will be addressing a little child like, my wife, my husband. 
Stop that person immediately. That person don't have any right. That is nonsense. Then the person says it's a joke. No, no, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shut your mouth up. Don't address my child anymore that way. Let them see the fire coming out of your eye. That They are not allowed. If they're helping you to do anything, let them stop it. Don't use such thing. Nobody try. For me, nobody nobody tries nonsense with my... Nobody. You know the fit. You know fit. There is no way. And another important thing, keep tabs on your kid. Make it a family rule. That wherever your child is going to, they notify you first to go to wherever you don't know. In case if any plans changes to wherever they are going to or to whomever they are hanging out with. Know the friends in the life of your children. Know people your children hang out with. Know hey, I hope you got all the message. I thank you very much for watching. Remember, I'm not telling stories, but I'm here to change lives. And when you share my video, you're helping change your lives too. Thank you very much. I appreciate you. God bless you. Hope to drop more videos soon. Thank you and God bless. Bye.